Hey, welcome. My name is Carla Yoro, and I am here to encourage you in your walk of faith. I make Christian lifestyle videos, vlogs about my gold fill business, which this will be one of them today. And just generally, I'm here to encourage you, uplift you. That's what this channel is all about. There's a lot of craziness and negativity in the world. And I have been through crisis in my life. My husband is a kidney transplant recipient. He almost died several times. I tell my story all the time in this channel, and my goal is to uplift you and encourage you. You need it. This world's crazy. So stick around. All right. So <laughs> I have a market tomorrow. It is my first market ever at this location. It's my second market ever. So I am a brand new business owner. I am a gold filled jewelry business owner. And tomorrow is a market that I have been wanting to do for forever. It's actually one of the reasons that I decided to get into markets in the first place. It's a really cute market in the downtown of my town that I live in, in central Florida. And this market is so vibey and it's just the cutest thing. It's a market that happens two Saturdays out of the month. It's in a park and it, our downtown is so cute and quaint, very small town vibes. So it's just super cute. And then on top of it, it's fall. Now I'm in Florida, so I wish, I wish the trees would be just gloriously orange and red and all those beautiful colors, but unfortunately it's not. But it is, I believe, the first fall market. So I am super, super excited to do it. Now I am a firm believer that when God places dreams in your heart, it's for a reason and for a purpose. So let's get into packing everything and conquering our fears. I'm always so afraid with these markets that I'm not gonna sell anything. So my friends, when you come into my home office, I cannot show you this side of my office because I work from home and I cannot show you those materials, but that is my home office. I have an L-shaped desk here. And then on this side of the room, I have my business office, studio, workshop situation. So this is a, it's a mess right now, by the way, but here. This is real life. Um, so this is where I kind of work my orders. I have some packing supplies down here, just extra stuff. I have my stamping kit for when I start stamping jewelry, which I want to get into, and a bunch of camera equipment. This is my super cute, oh, this is my pride and joy, I love this thing. This is my label maker, print, no, my label printer, and I can print stickers on thermal, it's thermal printer, that's what it is. And then this is where, when I get orders, oh, this is how I, Print, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't talk today. I got my Cricut, I use that to make things sometimes for markets, and then, yeah, that's that situation. Oh, that has to go with me tomorrow, which, let me pull it out because your home girl will forget it. And then I have my little table. I love this thing, it was like $75 from Amazon, and this, this is why I love this, because I got like camera batteries that I'm constantly charging, and yeah, this works amazing and it just plugs into the wall right here, so it works out perfectly. I'm currently editing a YouTube video, and it's just kind of a little workstation. It comes with this pouch area right here where I just have cables and extra stuff. All right, and these are the boxes that are going with me tomorrow. This box has claw clips because I sell claw clips as like a cheaper thing to kind of get people inside my tent. My I call it my pop-up shop, and claw clips go for like, five dollars or so and so this is a way that i can advertise that i have something cheap that i'm offering and honestly if someone makes like a huge order and spends a ton of money i will throw some claw clips in there because they're inexpensive for me to invest in but it's a way for me to you know say thank you so if someone orders something like a, a, a big order i'm gonna throw some claw clips in there for them and they're so cute so like i have this one like i have in my hair right now which is super simple but then i have this one which is like a little sum sum it's so cute this one like how cute is that shape that's amazing and so i just have them in here in this bird cage situation because it's I use this bird cage to decorate and throw some clock clips and stuff in there when I'm at the market but I really like it because it's cute and it's decorative but it also helps me keep the clock clips together so I actually have to kind of stick some in here and and organize them that would be nice <laughs> that does not need to go with me tomorrow I'm just gonna bring it just in case um, I need to plug like our phones and stuff like that in, but honestly, I won't need this tomorrow. I'm just bringing it because I don't know. I, I'm the type of person that I have to like overpack to feel like I'm prepared. 
All right, so that's that. This is a box I've had, my sister and I actually used to have, I'm just gonna sit cross-legged because oh my gosh. So my sister and I used to have a women's ministry, a girls' ministry, and we use this box as like our cash box for events, like our cash register box type situation, which I honestly need to get one of those for cash, but I'll use a fanny pack tomorrow. So yeah, that goes with me and I use it as a decorative thing or even like honestly um, to throw some jewelry inside and carry it all in there. So it's just very versatile. I love this thing I've had for forever and it just screams like, I don't know, 2016, I don't know. I've had this since I lived with my parents but it matches as you can tell the very pink vibe of my business. Our colors are like uh, light pink. <laughs> don't you love how you can see all our dog hair on there, real life. I am a child of God just to represent my faith. So here's the thing, as a Christian business owner, I don't throw my my faith or shove it down people's throat. I don't want that to, to be that, but like I can't help about talking something that's like just really important to me and all of my jewelry has biblical meanings behind it. Um, so my my goal is not to shove my faith down people's throat. It's just really to be, you know, to represent it. It's just there. But anybody can come and shop in my shop and I'm not gonna be like, Jesus loves you. Cause that's kind of weird. I, I don't know, Christians, we do weird stuff sometimes. No judgment here, it's just we do. And I think we end up freaking people out. Anyways, that, that just goes and I put it in front of my tent just as a decorative thing. And look at this super cute pink box that I got a couple of weeks ago at Walmart for my first market. Just, just stinking cute. I got it labeled with my business sticker which I'm really proud that I learned how to do this. So these are stickers that I use a lot in my branding. All right, so in here, everything is packed up from the last market, but I am thinking of actually pulling everything out to make sure everything I need is in here. All right, so this is my table cover. It's from Amazon. So that will need to get packed up all nice and pretty and it should be clean so I got to make sure it looks clean um, and then I have a ton of these that I got for a great deal and I have two of these small ones and then I have two of these bigger ones which work great in that shelving unit that looks like this one I'll show you in a second the shelving unit that I use but yeah I love these and they have a little hook in the back too to hook the necklace in so I have two of each and you can see that size comparison this is my vibe it's white and pink so i have one six foot table that i cover this with and then i use these white touches just to kind of make things stand out this is a necklace holder it has the base right here so that's what i wanted to make sure that we had those i have my business cards that y'all i don't sleep on canva like that's just a, everyone knows about canva but like my goodness i can't believe they have all these printing options now I've made two different sets of cards and I think they're a good deal. This is the first business card that I ever made. So that's my first business card that I ever made and I made it quite simple, used a template. This is my uh, logo or font or you know what I mean. But then I saw someone on Instagram show off this card that she had made she was selling the template and then i couldn't find it later so i was mad i didn't buy it off the bat that's what i get for not supporting small businesses but yeah i ended up making something similar so it's just like if it were an instagram account which i i just think this is the cutest thing i think it really attracts like generation z i know it can't focus but oh there we go so i just think it's the cutest thing and then i have my qr code in the back in case they want to go to my website and then all of my socials including my personal socials because i do post a lot of encouraging content on there so i literally take the whole box i think there should be 150 cards um i've used some of them and some of them are actually up there because i don't want to completely run out but yeah that all goes with me and i put them all over my booth so people can pick them up all right so i do have my business cards what's in here i don't even remember what's in here oh these are all my pricing labels yeah so these are actually like thank you cards that i cut up that's why some of them are actually blue but it's fine because you don't really see the back of them at all but these are all actually price cards that have the pricing of all my items but i'm going to walmart today because i don't think that this is visible enough so i think one of my strategies to get people to really walk into my booth is like 
it's my, one of my pet peeves when you walk into a booth and you can't see the pricing. Like you're, you walk in and you're like, can I afford anything in here? I don't know about you guys, but like most of us, we shop with a budget in mind. So if I walk in somewhere and I can't tell what things cost and I have to dig and I have to look it up, I just, I get annoyed and I leave. I don't want to have to wait for the business owner to be done talking or checking someone out or doing what they're doing for them to tell me what the price of something is. Plus, if it's a really busy market, I'll be telling people the prices all day, every day. If the prices are not, I said that we have prices. If the prices are not visible, this is some, what is this called? Gauze, yeah, gauze fabric that I use as a table runner on top of the pink table cover. This is super cute as well. This is a bracelet holder, so I got that. I have another bracelet holder. I have two of these cute little hands. This needs to go back in its box, which is right here. I'll show you guys tomorrow, but this is like a tiered, spinning thing. This is a display for earrings. All right, and then I have a ton of these acrylic stands also from Shein, and I use this to elevate like these type of displays from the table and that when things are elevated off the table, it just looks better, looks more elevated, and it gets people to kind of look at it. So I like that. This is just a random stand that I take just in case. And I have this mirror that I made. Hello there. So this is a mirror that I made. This is, girl, you look good. I made this on my Cricut. This is another a little acrylic sign. I always wanna make sure I have this. This has my business name and 18K gold filled. I wanna get other signs. And you can see I have also an acrylic theme. So I have like a light wood theme, white, pink, gauze, you know, some natural kind of fabrics, but also acrylic is a huge theme throughout my display. Um, I think it just looks really elevated and pretty. So I have to find in Walmart to see if there's some kind of acrylic stand, even like document holders, you know what I mean? If I find them on, on Walmart, I'll show you, but I'm trying to find those at Walmart so that I can do something like this. All right, and this is what I wanted to make sure that I had, even though this box is like falling apart. It's all good in the neighborhood though. So these are all uh, tissue paper. It's okay, this tissue paper looks funky. I don't love that, but it's whatever. And then these are just these white bags that I bought from Amazon, I believe. And then I just added my branding sticker. Just really simple. You've been gone. Up next, we gotta pack up all this jewelry that's behind me. So to make my life easier, I go ahead and do inventory. I mess up my inventory a lot at these markets because I get nervous. I know it's silly, but I get so nervous because I wanna check people out as quickly as possible. And quite honestly, I will <laughs> check people out. Uh, I use my iPad as a cash register and I will be checking people out and if I can't find the item, I just go ahead and put like a custom order because everything is priced. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. All my tags have prices on them so I can just easily look at the price and sum everything up. Um, <laughs> and then I have to go back later and make sure I'm fixing my inventory constantly. I know, I need to be better about that. So I use Shopify as where I run my website, where I keep my inventory, how I sell, how I integrate all of the products that I list on my website into my Instagram and Facebook. So Shopify is amazing. It's uh, This is not sponsored. It's $45 a month, literally amazing. It is expensive, but I mean, I think it's I think it's pretty a pretty good price because as you grow, of course you can pay more for these Shopify plans, but you guys, like I feel like Shopify is pretty limitless. So anyways, I literally can go here and on my app, I can literally go to inventory, and then here are all of my products and like how much inventory I have. So we're gonna quickly do inventory and then we'll park, we'll pack everything up. But it's just easier to see it when it's hung up on my, this is an Ikea pack board. And then I, I bought some of the Ikea stuff. Like this is from Ikea, Ikea, Ikea. But the actual pegs, I got a bunch of them from Amazon.
So these come with me. It's these pink velvety pouches that I absolutely love in there. They're pretty great quality. Look at that stitching. And basically it's these small jewelry pouches that you get with every order, whether you order online or you shop in person and then they just tie really pretty into a bow and you can keep it to travel with your jewelry. These are so cute and amazing. And so these will go with us tomorrow. Gosh. Oh, some of it. I'm trying to get better at marketing myself. And so I think I'm gonna write here jewelry. I know the hands right the handwriting is not the best, but you know, you know, we're we're surviving today. So I think I'm gonna write jewelry starting at and then put my cheapest price on here. Um, I think that's better than putting all jewelry 60 and less. No, let's put a smaller number and it'll catch people's attention. And you know, I, I wanna cater to as many budgets as I can. And all my jewelry is $60 or less, but I don't think I should write $60. I know better than that. I studied business in high school. Okay, I know better than that. I'm on my own website right now, by the way, and I am just scrolling. Okay, so my lowest price item, I believe, yeah, my Cuban Huggies, which are $14. Tell me what can I do now? So I'm stressed that I'm going to mess this up. All right, I am pretty much done getting everything ready. I'm gonna set up my camera equipment as soon as I'm done with you. And then we will be ready to go. So I will see you tomorrow. So we are hustling because I am later this morning than I wanted to be. Honestly, I don't feel good. I feel like I'm getting a cold or something and I am late. So like everybody's tents are already set up. Everyone's like almost ready to go. And we just got here. market that I do I feel like the setup looks a little bit different so I wanted to show you guys what the setup ended up looking like today so these are the signs that we made yesterday so they are double-sided 
Halfway through the day, I ended up flipping this one because it had this sale on it, but I think people, for them to be able to see the prices that the jewelry starts at, it's a little bit more beneficial. So I went ahead and changed it, but there I've got my white tent. Got Daniel who sell, he's a way better seller than I am. He's over there having his Chick-fil-A. This is the table setup. My husband built this table. This is a table that is actually supposed to be in our living room. We just um, have it in a corner in there. Okay. It just sits there with my business cards, the prices, if they would stop flipping over. These are the prices of all of my bracelets. But the wind has been bad today, so I've only, honestly just have been laying it there. Um, here, I have some out. <laughs> you didn't see that? Just smacked me in the face. It's just a fall decor from my house. And I just have it there to bring some fall in here. I have this mirror that's actually from behind our bedroom door. And then I have claw clips right here. I use them to, or I use the legs of the tent to just display these really cute claw clips. I have this sign. I used this on my last market as well. And this one, um, I used, I've literally had it for forever. So I went ahead and put the sign there on the corner just to cover one of the weights. There's that shelving unit with a ton of my full decor from my house. And then I have the sign with the claw clips around it. On here, I just have one of my um, heads. And then I also have tons of pumpkins. I left a bunch of claw clips in here. People will come and dig in there and look for claw clips that they saw over here. Because over here, they're kind of easier to see. But they're also on display, so people would just kind of dig for the one that they wanted. But they can literally grab it off of here, and I'll package it up for them, and they can take it. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a better solution. Last time I just laid them out on the shelf, and I thought that that looked a little bit messy. You might be hearing some music. Someone's playing live music. And then here we have the table. Let me take a closer look. We have my little mirror on the corner. I always like to have it next to one of my mannequin head thingies whatever those are called because people tend to try on the jewelry at this mirror and sometimes they'll try it on at this mirror as well but they tend to gravitate towards this one sitting right there on the table i want to get another one for the other side but i think so far a mirror there a mirror there for people to try on the jewelry has been enough um fall decor from my front uh area of my house <laughs> where the table's at and then i just have jewelry and their prices again handwritten on these cards. I do want to get more signs for like the periphery of the tent, signs that look just like these, like the exact same ones, for people to be able to see the prices a little bit better. I got my little acrylic stands to elevate everything. I got my little earring stand, love this thing. People will come and turn it and look at everything and I got prices in there somehow you can kind of see that again just tons of pumpkins from my house there's a little acrylic stand all my rings are on here but you can also just view them on here the ones that have tags and prices i went ahead and put them on here i like to elevate everything off the table just so people can see it a little bit better it's easier for them to reach that's why i really love this stand that has all the prices right there because all the necklaces are there sold a few necklaces today I like to create a little cash register. I bought this from a vendor. I like to create a little cash. It looks usually a lot cleaner than this, but we're about 30 minutes from the end of the market. But I just have everything that I need to pack up and order. I have the tissue papers. I have my little pink suede velvet pouches for the jewelry. And then I have my business cards. Every time I pack up a bag, which I have over there, there's kind of my bagging station. Usually I was checking people out and Daniel was doing all the bagging for me because it can take a little bit. While well, I get the jewelry, tie the pouch, tie the pouch, put the pouch in the baggie, put a tissue paper in there as well after I put it in a business card. And I usually throw a few of these stickers in there as well as a little something. So that usually takes a little bit. It's a whole process. So this is kind of my cash register section. Back here is a little bit of a mess. So that's why I love this table cover from Amazon then you can't see all of my meals that I've had today.
two years of not being able to use it. Market number one at our downtown was amazing. It was great. Everyone was so nice, yeah, right, Dan? Yeah. I was a little bit lost trying to find out like where I was supposed to be, so I felt a little dumb because apparently I was told where to be in that email last night. I just didn't read it well enough. Oopsie. But overall, it was a great market, and we had a really nice time. We had some elderly people to our right, and they were super sweet. They were selling... Um, like Disney, no not Disney stuff, it was like kitchen towels, um, but like half of it was like a kitchen, a kitchen mitten thing, like to pick, anyway, doesn't matter. They, they were so cute and they were so sweet, they had really cute stuff they were selling. And then the other neighbor to our left was a crocheter. Yeah, they said it right. Is that a thing? Okay, is that, I, I hope I said it correctly. But my sister loves crocheting stuff, so I got her a tiny little stuffed pumpkin, and it is so cute. Just getting home, but overall, it was a success. It was great. I encourage you to follow whatever dream got places in your heart. These are the small beginnings started. I've learned so much and have built my business little by little. I have built the website. I have to do a fall photo shoot. I need to do a winter photo shoot. I need to do a ton of photo shoots to, you know, for promotion and to grow my Instagram. Follow Delicate on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to stay up to date with everything that's happening with my jewelry my new jewelry lines but anyways i will see you in the next video for more encouraging content i post a video every thursday bye